Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Now today is Monday and typically that's reserved for a miscellaneous video, but there have been so many amazing mods coming out in just the last 24 hours that we're going to spend the next couple days getting caught up. And we're going to start with a beautiful mod. That's going to be the M60 E3 by Nady. Or Natty. I've only seen it written. Anyways, this adds the beautiful M60 into Fallout 4 with multiple variants covering all of your M60 needs. This includes the standard Vietnam version of the M60 as well as the E3 configuration which allows for more modern attachments. These are both actually ported from some pretty popular games, the first from Rising Storm 2 Vietnam and the other from the actual Modern Warfare remaster. So really really cool to see these models make it into Fallout 4. This thing comes fully equipped with custom animations, its own new ammo type which allows for ejecting links, making the belt fed system feel even more realistic, and even its own unique variant that can be found out in the world. Now when it comes to actually obtaining this weapon, it is not added to the leveled list, instead you're going to have to go find it at one of three locations. You can find the standard M60 at a crashed APC outside of Fort Strong, you can find the M60 E3 in the medtech research facility in the upper level or you can find the unique version which is actually located in the sentinel site that being said you can also craft the standard or e3 versions at a chemistry bench or you can always add it in via the console if you're a dirty cheater as for the new ammo type you can craft the new 762 by 51 rounds at any chemistry station in batches of 50 or 100. Now, those of you asking why add 762 by 51 as it's essentially 308, which is already in the base game, the new rounds actually feature the belt links ejecting properly, and if they were to edit the 308 rounds in the game, that would apply to all 308 rounds, meaning you would have belt links flying out of your hunting rifle, and you don't want that. So this was the best alternative, and it works perfectly. And I think that just about covers the basics, so let's go ahead and hop in game and check out the nitty gritty details of everything this mod has to offer. So here we are in game with the beautiful M60. Now this is the regular variant, but like we said earlier, there are actually three. So here we have the regular M60, which has a nice base damage of 38, uses the new 762 by 51 rounds, has a fire rate of 109, a range of 173, an accuracy of 64, a weight of 23.4 pounds, and a value of 337 caps. As for the M60 E3, the stats are pretty similar in terms of damage and fire rate, however it's the range, accuracy, and weight that are slightly different. But then we have the unique version, the Peacemaker, which has its own special receiver that gives it 70 damage, still uses 7.62x51s, has a fire rate of 109, a range of 341, an accuracy of 64, a weight of 23.8 pounds, and a value of 767 caps. Now what makes the Peacemaker special is that it has unlimited ammo capacity. As you can see, instead of the box holding all the rounds, there is just a belt that in our minds is going to continue forever, at least in the first person view. As again, you don't run out of rounds with this thing. Now how about those custom animations? I'm going to go ahead and let those play for you now, as well as let you listen to the sounds, because the sounds in this mod are quite incredible as well. So, here we go. And there you have it, that is the reload animation for the M60. Now let's check out what makes every weapon mod in Fallout 4 interesting, the attachments. And there's going to be some different attachments between the M60 and the M60 E3, but only slightly. Let's go ahead and start with the regular M60. You have options for four receivers, the standard, hardened, powerful, and advanced. Advanced will get you up to 66 damage. As for barrels, we have the standard barrel, the short barrel, the bipod barrel down, and bipod barrel up. For stocks, we have no options other than the base stock. For the ammo boxes, we can choose 100 or 50 round boxes. We can have the iron sight flipped up or down to avoid that clipping that happens during the reload animation. And then for the barrel extension, you can choose to have no muzzle, a flash suppressor, a compensator, or a suppressor, which for the classic M60 is a mighty big suppressor. Now for the M60 E3, things are pretty similar. We have four receivers again, standard, hardened, powerful, and advanced, again getting you up to that 66 damage. We have the standard or short barrel. You have the 100 or 50 round ammo boxes. 
you have the up or down iron sights, and then you have options for no muzzle, a suppressor, or a tan suppressor. And for the Peacemaker, everything is the same, except we have access to a special receiver, which gives us the unlimited ammo capacity as well as the high damage. Now, as is usual for our weapon mod reviews, we're going to be testing the M60 twice. Once on this first Deathclaw here, with the M60 E3 and its lowest damage possible, and then again with the legendary Peacemaker variant, which has the maximum damage that you can achieve without perks. So, we're going to go ahead and try these now. So, starting with the standard M60 E3, let's see how it does. And even for its base damage with no perks, that thing shreds. In a matter of only 18 bullets, that Deathclaw is down. Let's go ahead and see how the Peacemaker performs. <laughs> and in what I counted to be about 4 or 5 shots, that Deathclaw is down. I want to see how much damage potential this thing actually has. Alright, those death claws just went down too easy, so what I've gone ahead and done is given us the max possible damage in the game by increasing our commando rank to perk 5. And we're going to test this thing again on Swan, and then a Meyer Alert Queen. Let's see how it does. And Swan was no chance, how about the Meyer Alert Queen? Alright. That put up a little bit more of a fight, but in the late game, if you pick this thing up and you're maxed out on your perks, it's not even going to stand a chance. Really a powerful late game weapon, and a beautiful one at that. And with that, we're going to bring this video to a close. Truly a powerful and wonderful weapon, and some incredible work by Nady. Natty. Somebody will tell me in the comments. Either way, wonderful mod. As I am recording this, this is currently only on PC. However, I'm hoping that there will be a port for you Xbox users sometime soon. This is a wonderful mod and a lot of work went into this thing by everybody who worked on it. So if you do enjoy it, go out there and endorse the mod. Support if you can, donate if that's something you're able to do, but most of all, just show your appreciation for all of the hard work that went into this thing. I have a good feeling that this will be a permanent mainstay in some of your load orders, so it means the world to the mod authors if you could just show that appreciation. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this. We've got a ton of mod reviews coming in the next couple of days. I'm planning on some double uploads as, like I said earlier, there have been a ton of releases this week, which makes me super excited. And the week is not even started, so we have a lot of really good mods coming in soon. So like I said, consider subscribing for all of those future videos. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace! And hey, shout out to all of our patrons for their continued support. As always, your donations are greatly appreciated and help to fund videos just like this one. So again, thank you.